Good evening, good evening to everyone. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. I'm Pastor Jimmy Thomas. I want to welcome you to New Hope Church of Christ for our watch night service as we prepare to go into the new year. I'm going to have your sister Yolanda, Lady Yolanda Thomas give us our welcome. I will do the prayer and we will go from there. So Sister Thomas, um, go ahead. Good evening, and God bless you. Um, we praise God from whom all blessings flow, and we trust that this evening finds you all in good health. We, the New Hope Church of Christ, where the pastor, Elder Jimmy Thomas, is pastor, would love to welcome you tonight. Our model is one's hope, one soul, and one victory. Our goal is to share the word of God and to encourage his people through preaching and teaching. If you want to be a part of this dynamic ministry, please email us at newhopecocmd at gmail.com or call us at 443-650-8641. We have our Zoom and Facebook Live services every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at New Hope COCMD and on Facebook. Please like and share our sites with your family and friends on both Facebook and Instagram. Pastor Thomas. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Sister Thomas. We thank you very much. Uh, we're going to ask um, Deacon Anthony Talley if he would prepare. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to have prayer first. And then can't can't hear, I can't Talley hear you. Prepare to read our scripture. I'm going to have prayer first, and then Deacon Anthony Talley will be prepared to read our scripture. Let us bow our heads for the Lord. I can't you. hear you. I can't hear you. Yolanda, can you hear me? Okay. Let us pray, and maybe by that time he will be able to hear me. Lord, we thank you for all that you've allowed us to have this day. We thank you for your many blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that you will continue to be a blessing to us as we have been a blessing to each other. We pray that you will continue to pour out your spirit unto us as we share this word with a dying world. We thank you, Lord God, that you have brought us this far by faith leaning on your everlasting arm. We are in the last hours of, of a year we call 2020, where the clock is ticking down. And we know that all things come together for those who love the Lord. And we love you today, Lord, and we pray that you will bless us as we move into a new year, as we pray ourselves out of this year and we pray ourselves into a new year. Let your word be anointed. Let your word be fervent. Let your word go out and be and accomplish what it is sent to do. And that is to compel and bring men and women to Christ. We thank you for all that we have done. In Jesus' name, amen. You can tally if you can hear me. No, I cannot. We can hear you. Can you read the scripture? I know, but I can't hear you. Okay. I will read the scripture for us this evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I just couldn't hear you. Okay. All right. I will be reading. I will be reading Isaiah 43 from the Amplified Virgin. Uh, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, two short scriptures, familiar scripture for this time of year for all you Bible scholars. Amen. Can you hear me? Okay, and it reads as such. Do not remember the former things or ponder on the things of the past. Listen carefully, and I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the middle of the wilderness, rivers in the wilderness, rivers of desert, and the beast, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, and that's where it, and scripture ends at. Okay. 
Uh, and that's the conclusion of God's reading of God's word, that God had to beat into the blessing of his word. Amen. We're going to uh, thank you, um, Deacon Tally, for bringing us the scripture this evening. Thank God for the word. <laughs> Sister Thomas, we're going to ask if you would give us a song. And yes. after Sister Thomas give us the song, we're going to ask Reverend Lyons to give us a few words of encouragement. Mm -hmm. After Reverend Lyons, we're going to have Sister Wright give us a reading. And after her reading, I will bring forth the inspirational yeah. message for this evening, and then we will go into prayer after the message. So, um, Sister Thomas, we're going to give over to you now. I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness. To me I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness. To me I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness to me. I give thanks, I give thanks unto the Lord. I will praise his holy name for his goodness to me. I will praise his holy name for his goodness to me i will praise his holy name for his goodness to me i give thanks i give thanks unto the lord when I think of what he's brought us through, all the testing trials in 2020, I just want to thank him. I just want to thank him. Though we've lost some along the way, I will still lift my voice and say, Lord, I Thank you, Lord, I thank you. You made provision for me. Open doors I could not see. Lord, you gave me another chance just to raise my heart and say, I will thank you. Lord, for all you've done for me, so I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness to me. I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness to me. I give thanks unto the Lord for his goodness to me. I give thanks. I give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, Sister Thomas, this evening. We thank you, Sister Thomas. And we're going to ask now if Reverend Lyons, if Reverend Lyons would prepare himself to give an inspirational message uh, for a few minutes or 10 minutes or so in Jesus' name. Good evening. Um, we give it on to God to. Pastor Thomas, to Sister Thomas, to all those that sit in the body of Christ, to the New Hope Church of God family. Um, we thank God for another day that he has blessed us and God has taken us 
through a year and he has kept us and, and he's still keeping us. And we've been through some trying times, times that we've never seen in our life. Things that has happened that we never ever dreamed that would ever happen. But God has been there for us. And now it's time for us to move forward to another year. We have come down to the end of the year and God has blessed us thus far. God wants us to move forward in faith. You know, the scriptures in Genesis tell the story of Lot and his wife. And when they was in Sodom, God directed them to leave Sodom. And when, when they leave Sodom, to don't look back. Lot hesitated and, you know, took his time. And they had to, the men had to grab him, his wife, and his children to get him out of there. And on their way traveling out of Sodom, the wife turned around and looked back and turned into a pillow of salt. God had told them not to look back. There was nothing to, to look back for. And this is what God is telling us. We need to move forward and not look back. God has blessed us thus far. Yes, we have lost friends, family, but God wants us to move forward in faith that he will continue to keep us in the hollow of his hand. The scripture says in Philippians 3 and 13, it says, brother, and I count myself to be apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. You can't reach the things before you, focusing back. Picture driving down the highway and the whole time you're trying to drive forward, you're focusing in the rear view mirror to see what's going on behind you. You can't hit nobody behind you, but you sure can hit someone if you're not focused looking <laughs> forward. So God want us to keep our focus forward to keep our faith in him, knowing that he's going to continue to keep us and direct our path. In Luke chapter 9, verse 62, it says, And Jesus said unto him, No man have, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. There's nothing to look back to. There's nothing to focus on behind you. We need to go forward and continue forward. And God will continue to bless us and keep us. And we need to continue to show as we carry ourselves through 2021 and let people know that God is. And God is the answer to all that we need. And we ask that you would, I ask that you would continue to keep this focus and to keep the faith. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Lyons. At this time, we thank you for that encouraging word because we is no time to look back. Uh, you, there's no forward momentum looking back. You're running a high risk of danger when you're not looking ahead. And so God wants us to look forward and press. So we're going to ask us to write, um, Carol Wright, if, if she would unmute herself and um, give us a reading at this time, after which I will bring forth the word for the evening and we'll go into prayer. Good evening, Pastor Thomas, Lady Thomas, and the New Hope family. I am so blessed to be able to share this word of encouragement that the Spirit has led me to. And it follows so well what Reverend Lyons has just shared with us. The Spirit has led me to this passage, to this uh, reading that says, your past is gone. Enjoy a new year closer to me. Revelations 21 and 5, John is told, look, I am making everything new. You made it. Another year is behind you. 
Another 365 days of growing older and hopefully wiser. Above all, another year of creating history with your Lord and Savior. Maybe you began this year feeling far from him. Maybe you hadn't met him yet. Or maybe you thought you knew him only to find, only to discover around day 178 that you needed to accept Jesus' salvation personally and to move closer to him. Today is the end of something, but more importantly, it marks the beginning of something better. One of God's amazing qualities is his habit of always having something new in store, more newness beyond your greatest successes, more than the sum of your costliest weaknesses, more than your hugest hurts stole, and more than the deadliest penalty for your sin. He is the God of more, yet his love for you is profoundly simple and pure in its newness. As you continue with him into the next year, commit to discover what more his new means in regard to your life. You can count on his thoughts to outshine your own dreams. New may include some heartache because heartache often serves as a catalyst for new growth in Christ's grace, new understanding of his heart and new healthy habits, but unprecedented, excuse me, but never waste time doubting that new will also mean fresh reasons for joy and unprecedented depths of peace if you stay close to him. Learn from the past, but put the past away so you don't trip over it as you keep in step with Jesus through the coming year. End this one well by committing to begin the next one even better. It just may be the year God sends his son back for his children. Carry the encouragement of that possibility into each new moment, trusting that your God's newness will extend through eternity. Lord, thank you for this year and thank you even more for making all things new next year. New mercies each returning day hover around us while we pray. New perils pass, new sins forgiven, new thoughts of God, new hopes of heaven. Happy New Year and thank you. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. At this time, we're going to ask you to prepare your hearts for a word from the Lord. <clears throat> New Hope Church of Christ family, my wife and I, we wish you a blessed and prosperous new year. And all the audience out there near and far, we pray that God will bless you in year 2021. As the message goes, and we will pray after the message, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the service. Thank you for all that you have done. Thanks to Christmas, most of us end the year with new things new toys for the children, new clothes. Although they may not be the right color and they might not fit, they still new. New pounds we put on over the holidays. We start the year off with new things, a new calendar on the wall, new bills, new resolutions for the days ahead. Everybody likes things new, including God. He says in his word, as we have read in the Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19 in the Amplified Bible, it says, do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. Listen carefully. I'm about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put in roads in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So our focal verse this evening uh, quickly is going to be verse 19. I am about to do a new thing. And our text from that verse this evening is going to be, it's time for something new. It's time for something new. The way of God is to start fresh or the way to God is to start fresh. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 tells us, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new, create, new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We are held captive by our past. Things are things we have done in the past. The world will not let us become new. They say, I remember you when. 
one of the things about the internet that is so important to understand that uh, it, it, that things do not go away or disappear. Unflattering pictures or things you have posted will stay out there for years to come. So we find that our message for us going into this year, 2021, is it's time for something new. Forgetting those former things, God says, and do not ponder on the past. Do not live in the past. God, God's promise is for something new, something fresh. And we are to live by faith and not by sight. Lamentation 3 and 22 and 23 says, it tells us, it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because of his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. God is looking for something new. It is time for a new, for something new. The word of God says, I'm about to do a new thing. I can't do a new thing in your life if you continue to look back into the past. I can't give you a fresh anointing if you still holding on to your same old stale sad shout. I can't give you a new song if you still looking back singing the old drudgery song you used to sing of despair. I can't give you a new life if you're holding on to your old life saying it's not that bad. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I can't do a new thing in you until you start looking forward, looking at the promises of God, looking at the word of God. It says here, for, to forget what they said, focus on what my promises are. Forget what they did, focus on what I'm doing for you right now. I want to take you to a place that you have never been before. I want to make roads that don't exist. I want to put water in the desert where there is no well. I want to do a new thing for you. I want to show you that my grace is sufficient. I want to show you that my anointing is real. I want to show you that salvation is in the name of the Lord. I want to show you a new thing. Hallelujah. It's, I want to do something new in your life, but, but I can't do it if you keep looking back, if you keep holding on to the old things. But see, you have to do something. Hebrews 12 and 1 clause B tells us, let us lay aside every weight and sin that does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Don't you know that once you lay it aside, you have to forget those things which are behind. Stop pondering on the past. Focus your energy on your thoughts on the promises of God. Jeremiah, so that was Jeremiah 29 and 11 tells us, well, I know the plan that I have for you, saith the Lord, a plan for peace and of not of evil to give you a future and of hope I got a plan for you don't you know I got your I got your future all laid out I know what's gonna happen to you tomorrow I know what brand of coffee you're gonna drink tomorrow I know if you go buy Starbucks you're gonna get a latte with extra caramel syrup on the top I know the plan I have for you I'm gonna bless you when the devil says no I'm gonna bless you when the people say no I'm gonna bless you when the world say no don't you worry about the pandemic I'm gonna do something new I'm gonna show this world that my church is not dead they're gonna rise up at the phoenix from the ashes they're gonna shout loud they're gonna cry loud they're gonna let the people know that there is a savior in the land hallelujah thank you jesus oh thank you philippines tells us in 3 13 and 14 brothers i count myself to not have apprehended but this one thing i do i'm forgetting those things which are behind and i'm reaching forth for those things ahead you can't reach forth looking back you don't know what you're reaching for but I'm reaching for the promises, uh, the promise that I will be the head and not the tail, the promise that I will be a lender and not a borrower, the promise that I will be blessed in the field and I'll be blessed in the city. I know what I'm reaching for. I'm reaching for healing. I'm reaching for miracles. I'm reaching for souls to be saved. God said, I want to do a new thing. Don't you know I'm about to do it? And it's gonna come forth and it's gonna press out. It's gonna blow up the city. City of Baltimore is going to blow up the country. So don't you know, it's time for a new thing. Stop singing the same old sad songs. 
shouting the same old sad shout, uh, praying the same old sad prayer. Don't you know God wants to do a new thing? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for something new. We've been doing it the old way so long. We can do it in our sleep. We know the routine. We know the accolades. We know the gestures. We know the, we know it. But my question is, are you ready for a new thing? That thing that just right over the horizon. So Yolanda, let's open up everybody and we're gonna go into prayer right now. In the name of Jesus, I want every. Lost him. Where did he go? Can't hear you. That you are, uh, it's time for something new, something new in your life. Don't you know? Don't you know that most of us, when we get something new, we like to just sometimes we we get in the mirror and we try it on just to see what it looks like, and we turn sideways and we try to look at the back and we look at the front because I got something new. And then when you get something new, you start imagining where am I going to wear it? What occasion am I going to wear it for? But don't you know God got something new that he wants you to put on right now? And that is the spirit of God. And you can wear it every day. You can wear it anywhere. You can take it with you to the supermarket. You can take it with you to job to your job in the name of Jesus. Let us bow our heads and pray right now. Every family that is together, I want you to get together and pray if you can. And those on the that are on the Zoom right now, this is a personal Zoom. This is only us, the New Hope family is on this Zoom. Those who have desired to be a part of this ministry and those who are the extended of our family, they have joined in. And now we're going to pray together right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, as you take us into a new year, you take us into a new adventure. Lord, we thank you for your hand of mercy. We thank you for your hand of anointing that you have blessed the children of men. We thank you, Jesus, that we have gone through the pandemic, but we still got some more to go. We thank you for the earthquakes. We thank you for the fires. We thank you for the floods because they all came down from you, Lord, to make us a closer walk with you. We know that right now there are people that have lost their homes. Uh, they have lost their families. Uh, they have lost their jobs. Uh, but Lord, we need you to do a new thing in their life. Uh, shake up the economy. Uh, shake up the government right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, touch our elected officials. Uh, let the holy anointing of God rule and guide their decisions. Uh, help us, Lord, to pray day and night uh, without ceasing uh, for the welfare of our brother and our sister, uh, those who are sick and afflicted in bed. Uh, those who are sick right now, Lord, uh, that are being touched by this thing called cancer. Oh, we need you to touch their body, Lord, uh, and heal from the inside out. Uh, let the word of God have the final say. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we thank you for the coronavirus uh, that we know that's all over the land, uh, but you have kept us, Lord, uh, and we keep going and get tested and we get test negative. Uh, and I thank you for the negative test, Lord, uh, and even those who were tested positive and was able to overcome. Uh, we thank you, Jesus, uh, that you allowed them to see 2021 uh, because you didn't have to do it, uh, but you did. Uh, somehow, Lord, uh, you opened up the floodgates of blessing. Uh, and you poured out unto us uh, your spirit, uh, and you protected us with your hedge, uh, like you did, Brother Job. Uh, you blessed us, Lord. Uh, you kept food on our table. Uh, you kept our bills paid, Lord. Uh, you kept the lights on. Uh, you kept the heat on. Uh, you kept clothes on our back, Lord. Uh, oh, I thank you, Jesus, uh, that you have brought us this far by faith, uh, leaning on your everlasting arm. Uh, and we know if we just hold on uh, just a little while longer, we will see the good and the mercy of God. We will see the power and the anointing of God 
move upon the face of the earth in the name of Jesus. We will see a new thing. He's about to do it. He said it will burst forth. And he said, don't you see it? You won't even expect it. You won't even know that it's there. It's going to overtake you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm asking right now, Lord, that you would bless and bring the families in, those families on the peripheral that don't want to be saved, want to try to be saved, want to belong to the church, but don't want to be committed to the church. Bring them in, Lord God. Bring them in, Jesus. Commit them to your will. Commit them to your word. Commit them to your way. In the name of Jesus, I'm claiming the souls right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm claiming them right now in 2021 that you will open up the floodgates of blessings and convict men and women to say, what must I do to be saved? We want to bring back the backslider. We want to bring back those who never heard the word. We want to bring in those who are looking for a better way of life in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless us, Lord God. Bless us in 2021. We know that there's going to be a new thing, Jesus. We know that you're about to do a new thing right now in this year, 2021. And we thank you, Lord, that you have opened the door for us right now. And it is now 12.05 in the new year. Hallelujah. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Somebody asked you, what did you do for New Year's? I was down on my knees praying. Hallelujah. I was thanking God for bringing me yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Jesus. Yes. And don't be ashamed to say, it. they're uh -huh. not ashamed to tell you they were in the bar drinking. They're not ashamed to tell you uh -huh. they were reveling it up. So why should you be ashamed to say that I was praising my God and giving yes. him thanks okay. for all that he has done? Thank oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. May God have mercy upon us. We thank God for everything that he has done. How he has moved in a mighty way. I'm ex New Hope family, I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting a new thing to God to do in this ministry. I'm expecting those who have been sitting on the wayside. I'm expecting God to bless us with your gifts. And you, forth and you can exercise your gifts. I'm praying that God will bring in those as such that want to be saved and those who want to contribute to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those who want to live right. Those who want to do right. Those who don't mind sacrificing their time, their talent, and their and their worth unto the ministry of God. Those who don't mind, who don't mind saying, yes, pastor, I can do that. Oh, I've done that before. And you know one thing I can tell you right now, if you have a skill that, you'll be, that you're doing on the job for the world, God can use that skill. Because he gave you that skill to get your job, why can't you use that same skill to serve him? Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I, I'm just I'm just overflowing with expectation. I'm overflowing with excitement. I know I'm going to have to be paced. When I say paced, I mean slow down because I want to do it all right now. But I know I can't and I cannot do it without your help. I need your help. I need your commitment to God first to God first and then to the, to the ministry. But I need you to do this. And we thank God for you, my wife and I, we are just humbled by you all being with us and we can't say enough good to you and about you. But I just pray that God will give you blessings upon blessings, prosper you spiritually as well as naturally, give you health, when you felt that every pill you had taken was no good. God said, I got one, one pill. It's called prayer, the prayer pill. Once you take the prayer pill, he'll make some changes. Swallow it, drink some Holy Ghost oil with it. Let him shout it with you and he'll bring you through. So at this time, I want to thank you. You all can unmute yourself if you want. Uh, um, let me just dismiss this service. So at this time, thank you, Reverend Lyons. He asked, Elder Tom, you, you got to dismiss. Um, I want to dismiss from this service right now. See, that's what I'm saying. I need you all. 
Amen. I cannot do all this by myself. Amen. I heard him in my ear say, don't forget the benediction. He's not standing here, but I heard him say it. <laughs> so let us, let, us, let us bow our heads for the benediction. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for your many blessings upon the children of men. And now, Lord, we pray that as we go forth from this place, we go forth doing a new thing. We go forth walking in a new path. We go forth singing a new song. We go forth with a new shout. We go forth with a new anointing that you have committed unto our lives that we may be able to share with those in the dying world. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done. For the word of God said today, it is time for something new. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Now you can talk among yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Wonderful.